hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm here to talk about training training in the south southwest are you applying for training have you been given the southwest have you been given savandinary and you don't have a clue about what training is like in the savandinary i'm here to answer your questions so i joined training in august last year and i was given savandinary seven or seven dinary depending on which country you come from you spell it the way you want to so when you're choosing your training places in Oreo it will not show you exactly where you're going in seven dinary so seven dinary has three places it has Bristol it has um, Somerset and Taunton and then it has Gloucestershire and even those still have their divisions but i'm here to talk about training in gloucestershire so gloucestershire is one of the places that you will get if you choose seven seven dinary unfortunately in in oreo it's not clear so when i was choosing seven dinary i was hoping to go to bristol because i was working in bristol as a non-training doctor so when i chose seven i was hoping to go to go to bristol but i ended up in gloucestershire so i had no clue about what training in gloucestershire is i had never been to gloucestershire but here i am now one year later or eight months later and i am happy so i'm here to give you the reviews about the area the first question that most people will ask themselves is the distance between the sites so in gloucestershire we are lucky because it's a small trust the distance between the small the, the the distance between the training centers is not much it's normally 20 to 30 minutes the main hospital is what loan hospital where you do your own calls but you will also do covers in child online hospital but even then these two hospitals are about 20 minutes apart and if you don't drive there's a taxi service that will take you from Morton Lawn to Charlton Lane and vice versa. I don't drive at the moment, so I use the taxi service. The second thing you'll ask yourself about is trainee satisfaction. The trainee satisfaction survey, the GMC trainee satisfaction survey is actually out now, but you can look at the one for last year and Gloucestershire had very good reviews. The trainees in the dinary are quite happy. And satisfaction ranges from a number of things. One of them is supervision. We have adequate supervision. We have weekly supervision unless you're on leave or unless your supervisor on leave. The supervision is consistently there every week and the supervisors are consistently supportive no matter what you're going through. So please, it's a good place to come to if you're looking for a good work-life balance. Then the next thing that I want to talk about is the rotor. So our rotor is a 1 in 21. Um, when you look at the rotor, you may not get that 1 in 21 feel, but just know the rotor is good. The rotor does not give you that heavy feeling of you're tired. You will actually get a period on the on-call rotor where you're off the on-call rotor for about 4 to 6 weeks. So if you want to travel out of the country, that's a good time for you to plan your journeys. So the on-call rotor is very good. The on-call intensity is also not bad. The on-calls are really, really not hectic. You, you'll have one or two on-calls where you live and you feel you're tired and exhausted, but generally speaking, the on-calls are manageable and the support you get when your on-calls is also relatively good. Most consultants are normally very, very supportive when you're on-call. Then the workplace support, the workplace environment the workplace environment is really really good the teams are really supportive you'll work with nurses you'll we will work with trainee advanced nurse practitioners and fellow doctors and then usually in a team you'll have more than one doctor so you have good support you'll have people to talk to people to ask people to talk to ben generally so it's a good place to train in then the other thing that I wanted to talk about is um, generally the quality of life in the area. As you can see, the sun is out. The sun is in the south, so it's a really good place to work. It's a good place to raise children if you have a family. And generally, the crime rate is not so bad in Gloucestershire. Where to live, most people choose either to live in Bristol or in Gloucester or in Cheltenham. I'm currently based in Cheltenham because Cheltenham is a good area to raise kids and I'm not a fan of long commutes. I want to have a 15 minutes commute to work because commutes also add on to the fatigue you have at the end of the day. That's why I chose to stay in Cheltenham. But most 
most trainees do prefer to live in Bristol because of the um, vibrancy of Bristol and all, you know. That's why most people choose to go in um, to work in Bristol. Then, if you still have any more questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the question box below in the comment section below. I am really happy to answer them. I'm here to pull you all you guys to come to the south. Bye.